Hello and welcome back. I'm Tara with Simply Made Eats and today we are making this yummy brioche french toast casserole. It is my go-to recipe for the holidays, especially Easter and Christmas when it's like crazy chaos from the kids in the morning and it only takes five minutes to prep. You guys are gonna love this one. Everyone always does. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is grease a nine by 13 inch baking pan. I'm just using some butter. You can definitely use like a vegetable shortening spray. Whatever you prefer is totally fine. I really like butter, so I'm going with that. And I like to just make sure you get the sides. You wanna make sure you get all of it so we don't have anything sticking. And then we're also gonna preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, I've got a loaf of brioche bread. Okay, and then what I do is I just take a few slices, two or three, and I just want one inch cubes or right about, so I just slice these like that. And then I'm gonna go the other way like this. So I just want the cubes to be about this size. We're gonna chop this all up. This is probably like the easiest breakfast to prep. And I personally don't like to let this sit overnight. I know some people will kind of call this recipe bread pudding, but I just, I like to make it and then bake it because I don't want it to be soggy at all. I, and I think it's really nice and creamy the way it is. So this is just how I do it. Okay, so the first thing, I'm just gonna whisk up four eggs. And these do not need to be perfect, but I just like to give them a little bit of a whisk before we put them into the bowl. And I really should be using a larger bowl for this. I'm like notorious for, for getting smaller bowls for what I need, but this'll work. This is totally fine. Okay, let's set these aside. So I like to add in the cinnamon first and then the sugar. Okay, so we're gonna whisk our cinnamon and sugar together. Then we're gonna add in one and a half cups of half and half. Half cup of heavy cream. One teaspoon vanilla, quarter teaspoon of salt, and our four eggs. Now we're gonna whisk this together. And you'll see this cinnamon separates a little bit still and you'll, you won't really be able to tell once you get it poured over the toast, but it does help when you mix it with the sugar first. And I'm gonna ruin my brand new shirt. I always do that. <laughs> I'm always ruining my shirts when I'm cooking recipes. Okay, so now we're gonna add all of our brioche into our greased casserole dish. I told you this recipe was so easy. I think it's like the easiest recipe that I make. And this is like my second most popular TikTok video. It's so funny. Like, it's always the easy ones that go crazy on TikTok. Everybody's like, I use this to make it, and I use that. I add blueberries, but they all sound good. Everything that people do sounds really good. Okay, so now we are just gonna take this custard mixture and just pour it. Just pour it over the top of our brioche. Just try and evenly distribute it as much as you can, but it does not need to be perfect. I like to just kind of toss it around a tiny bit like this, just to get that all spread out soaked into the bread. Okay, 
Okay, and now this is optional, but I like my stuff sweet, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon and sugar over the top of this. It's about an eighth of a cup of sugar and a half teaspoon of cinnamon mixed together. This just makes like a nice little coating on top, a little extra sweetness, yum. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and bake our brioche French toast casserole for about 30 to 35 minutes. The casserole just came out of the oven and it looks perfect. I'm so excited to eat this. So I'm just gonna show you what I generally do. Um, I get this open. I've just got some powdered sugar and I love to add this on top. I just think it looks so pretty. And you can always serve it with a little bit more too. And then I like to just take a little bit of maple syrup when it's still hot and just drizzle it over the top. So good. This is such a yummy recipe and how easy was it to make? The favorite things that I really love about this recipe is it gets really crispy on top, but the inside stays really nice and custardy. Mm. It's so good. I always say that. It's so good, but it really is. It's really, really delicious. So that's it. We are all done with this easy brioche French toast casserole. It's seriously so simple to make. Make it next Sunday for Easter and let me know how it goes. I know your family is gonna absolutely love this one. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe so that we can keep cooking together. I love creating simple recipes to make your life just a little bit easier. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.